Hello everybody and welcome back. Today's block is called Domino. So for that you're going to need fabric A is two, two and a half inch squares and six, two and a half by six, I'm sorry, two and a half by four and a half inch rectangles. So two and a half inch squares and two and a half by four and a half rectangles. You're going to do two squares and six rectangles. Fabric B, you're going to need two, two and a half inch squares and two four and a half inch squares fabric c will be four two and a half inch squares and fabric d will be eight two and a half inch squares so we're going to make two different blocks with this and then we're going to hook them all together to make one now this one on mine is directional and i'm going to try to keep it that way as best as possible so we're going to do it first because it's fresh in my mind and that's this block so for that we're going to take one a rectangle and one a square we don't need B and we're going to take two C squares and we're going to take four of our D square now these are going to be opposite so this one's actually going to lay like this but the other one's going to lay like this so I'm actually going to lay this like this so I can make sure my fabric goes the other way so it's good that way it'll it'll go up because this is kind of like a knitting pattern like a I don't know pearl I don't know what it's called I don't knit so they're gonna go like this so then when this one goes down here it will be in the corner so they'll be opposite and everything will go the same way so we're just gonna sew these into blocks or rows rather so I'm gonna fold this over and this one and this one and we're going to go over and sew right down through there and then actually from the sewing machine I'm just going to cut it off and grab these and sew them to the remainder remaining one so let's go over and we'll do that so I also have another light here you can see it's a bit brighter I do subscribe to for a couple months now I subscribe to the sew sampler box so sampler yeah I think that's the name of it from Fat Quarter Shop. I pay for it. She doesn't, I'm not affiliated or anything. Um, but it came with a light, a very tiny little light, and I thought I'm going to use it there. Actually, I think it was supposed to come with one, but my box actually had two of them in it. So, lucky me, I got two of them, and I thought, well, that's good because I can use one there. Sorry, I'm lining up this fabric. It's not, it's not cooperating. Now we're just going to cut these off. Sorry, got a nice view on my hand there. And I'm just going to open this one up. This is actually going to be the middle row. And I'm going to grab it and put the next one on. same with the next one I also have gotten some well I'm sorry with this one I'm gonna make sure I pull it over and I line it where it's going the same way see this one is pointing down the little arrows the little knitting stitches so I want to make sure this one is too and I have gotten some new members on my channel thank you so much for supporting me I do appreciate it I'm very grateful get this off of there we'll head over here and I'm gonna iron all these to the pink to the knitting knitted side fabric because then it'll all line up because it's in all of them there And then we're going to lay it back out and I want it to go exactly like that but I also want to make sure 
this is the piece I have to be careful of because it's the same either way, but I want to make sure they're all going the same way, which actually is that way. So now I'm just going to fold this over and this one just has one seam to line up and we'll pin it and I'm not going to, normally I would fold this one up too, but since these are small and the same size, I'm going to just do them one at a time. So let's go sew this up. Now this one I'm going to iron to, what am I ironing this one to? The long yellow one, the rectangle, because then when I make the other one and I sew it correctly, it's going to line right up. So now we're just going to flip this up and I'm going to spin it around because I like to pin from the top. We pin both our seams and the end. put one in the beginning because it doesn't seem to be wanting to line up right. So let's go sew this one up and then our first set of blocks in this one is done. This one is going to be ironed to the middle. No, that's not right. It's going to be ironed to the three squares. So there is our Well, it'll be this way because I want them to, well, it won't matter because once it's sewn together, it's going to be the same block no matter how you lay it. So we're going to lay these to the side and then we're going to make this block a lot simpler. We're going to take our, you'll do two, but I already did one. So you're going to need your two and a half inch square of B and your four and a half inch square of B and two of your two and a half by four and a half inch rectangles. And again, we're just going to sew them together. Pretty simple. This one and this one, we'll head over and do that. Maybe. Might have to pin it. No. I think my yellow piece is just a little crooked, but it'll all work out. these apart and iron these to the yellow both of them and this is a very simple part of this block you're just gonna iron them up or sew them opposite so you're just gonna take this and flip it down and we line up our seam And the end 
and I'll just hold the beginning. It seems to be laying pretty flat. Flat, straight, however you want to... together. This one I ironed to the little side. So now this goes here and this one goes here. They're opposite and then our yellow pieces go in the middle just like that. That's not right. This is the yellow in the middle just like that. So now if you fold this over because we iron them both to the yellow, they nest very nicely there. That's the only seam you have on that one. We're gonna pin at the end. I'm gonna put one in the beginning there too, just for funsies. And then this one might not line up right because, well, I'm not perfect. So all we got to do, uh, all we got to do is re-iron this one to the other side. Or, that's not the right one. <laughs> it was this bottom one. It's fine. Sometimes you just have to do a little extra ironing. may have to do that later on too. You never know. So now again, yellows to the middle. My V's are going down. You can't see that on camera. It's very, uh, very blurry. Maybe is the word fuzzy. It's very small. It makes it look blurry on the camera. Not very legible. Legible. That's not the right word. Ignore me, I don't know. All right, so we're gonna go sew these up. there looks like it's a little bigger or I didn't line it up right maybe could be either one take our pins out and I'm gonna iron so it's the white square because there's only one seam as opposed to the two on the other side I'm gonna have to slow down these blocks I'm making I'm using a lot of this right here and I don't think I have a lot of it so now we're just gonna lay it there and I've done that, so let's see. Well, this one I could redo. However, this one, they're going to both go the same way, but it's okay. We'll, we'll just fold it over. I'm going to pin in the middle first. And then this one because it'll line up. I try not to stress too much over these little things. It'll be alright. And then this one is going to be bulky. 
but also it's okay. I'm just going to hold it here and we're going to go sew it up and then we're done. back over and iron it open and this one really doesn't matter because they're the same oh, I'm a little off on it whatever there it is I'm gonna move it this way see I'm a little off it's okay though I might redo it, but I might not. But there it is. It is called Domino. These are 12 inch blocks I've been doing. I had somebody say they wanted to sew along, so I thought I'd do a bunch of 12 inch blocks. And then I'll do mine in whatever fabric, but then if you want to follow along, you can make a quilt out of them because they're all 12 inches. But anyways, there it is. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you make it and love it, and I will see you all next time. Have a great day.